in WWDC 22, Apple brought great updates for SwiftUI. One of them is a new API for navigation. But wait, do we need a new API? Is there something wrong with the current one? Actually, yes, and more than you might think. The current API is based on Navigation View, which in iOS 16 and macOS 13 will be deprecated in favor of two new components, Navigation Stack and Navigation Split View. In this video, we will focus on Navigation Stack. Previously, we had to use Navigation View to wrap a list of views and display a navigation bar. If those items wants to push to a detailed view, we have to use a navigation link to wrap them and add a destination for each element. Also, in order to control this navigation programmatically, we have to include state properties for each destination view. Maybe this code doesn't look so bad, but in fact, we already have some problems. First, if we want to pop from a presented view, then we need to pass a binary object as parameter. This will couple your view to the navigation logic. Second, there's no built-in solutions for common actions like pop to root in a deeper navigation. And third, we have to manage eight possible states, which most of them are invalid. In fact, if we add one more state to display a fourth detailed view, we will now support up to 16 states. This is bananas. <laughs> Those problems are the reason why people is always asking for help in Swift forums. Even the community has created alternatives to handle this in a better way. For example, Swift UI navigation project from point three. Now with the new API, we will replace navigation view to navigation stack, remove all those Boolean states and move destination view for each navigation link to a new modifier called navigation destination. This new approach is data-driven, which means that depending on the amount and type of data, navigation will react to that. Let's take a look to the navigation destination modifier. It has two parameters. One is the data type that must conform Hatchable protocol, and the second is a closure creating the destination view. In other words, all values of type D will trigger a push to the same destination view C. In our example, the values of type fruit will be displayed in fruit detail. Look how we decouple the destination view from each cell and we focus only on the data type Type. Actually, you can manage multiple navigation destination modifiers for each different data type. Just remember to keep them away from lazy views like lazy grids. Okay, this is great, but there is more. In this demo, navigation stack is managing an internal stack with the data that is pushed or popped, but you can programmatically manage that and make your implementation super flexible. You only have to create an array of the type you want to present in your destination view. This will be the represented path of your navigation, and it will trigger view updates. That's why we are using state and initializing it with an empty array, because this screen is the root view. Now you have to pass path as a binary object for navigation stack, and now the internal stack will be overridden with this custom path you declare. Everything works identical, but now you can manipulate this array and create a custom flow. For example, you can create a pop to root method by simply removing all elements in the path array. Going back to the previous screen, popping the last element in the array. and even replace the current path with a new one. This will be great to build your navigation from a deep link or push notification. Lastly, a simple array is great if you want to display a single type of data, but you can create a navigation path object to erase the type and work with the multiple types in the same container. We will explore more about navigation path and things like state restoration in the next video. And remember, navigation stack and this new API is only available from iOS 16, macOS Ventura, and watchOS 9. If you want to learn more, check out more Swift in the description below. My name is Pete and this, this is Swift and Tips. Thanks for watching and have a great day.